Hi there, I'm Chris from Sally Forth and I'm going to be talking to you to today about a project that I've been working on for the last couple of weeks making some miniatures sort of based on the Redwall Abbey set of books so these are mice archers uh, what I've been using to do that is a combination of some plastic multi-part kits for Halfling Militia which are made by War Games Atlantic and some metal mice conversion kits. So to start off with let's have a look at the pieces that are used in the project. So starting off with the plastic multi-part frame. So the frame from the Halfling Militia box set has got five um, halfling bodies, they're all in different poses. It's got sort of stacks of heads, halfling heads, obviously we're not going to be using them for this project. And then it's got various weapon options. And the weapon options include um, bows and arrows for the archers, which I've used in for these figures here. Also halberds, pikes, there's an arm with a sword, and there's a couple of slinger style arms. So We'll have a look at the uh, close-up of the sprue to see what you get. The metal conversion bits are called critter conversion kits and they contain a, a metal head and a tail for different species. So there's all sorts of things in the range, you know, cats, dogs, otters, badgers, but what we're interested in for this project are the mice heads. So the mice heads come in three different varieties. We have um, one with a hood, like from a cloak or a shawl. We have one with a metal medieval fantasy helmet. And we have one that's bareheaded. So we'll take a look at a close up of those. The conversions themselves were very straightforward. As these are plastic kits, we used plastic glue and glued the arms and the, um, and the weapon options in place. Then we simply um, glued the metal head on with some super glue and drilled a small hole in the back and glued the tail on with some super glue. <coughs> So what I'm looking to do is to use one of these plastic box sets, I think they've got 40 miniatures in them, and to put together a complete Saga Age of Magic army sort of using them. So what we've got here is a 12, uh, tw no, sort of tw no, sort of 12 strong unit of levy armed with bows. What I'm going to be looking at next, and we'll cover this in another video, is to do some... Um, elite some hearth guards and I'm going to use the metal helmet conversion kits and arm them with a sword or axe and a shield and then for the normal warriors I'm going to arm them with halberds and use a mixture of helmets so we'll uh, no, we'll sort of stop there and look at some close-up photos of how they look and follow this up in a couple of weeks to see how we're getting on with the rest of the army um, if you like the video please uh, subscribe to the channel and there's some more information and links in the text below. Mm -hmm.